Yes, Nashville got hit by a tornado last Nashville night. Nashville got, we just seen this this morning. Nashville got hit pretty bad by a tornado. We've had high winds down here on the Gulf because they had riptide current. They wanted everybody to stay out of the, out of the sea there, the Gulf there. So we've got some pretty good gusts today. covered some ground so we love St. Augustine so much that maybe you know with it only being an hour and a half away we're gonna go ahead and just go on down to St. Augustine and stay two nights yeah because we thought about staying in Jacksonville well we changed our mind it's been a good I mean it's 80 degrees outside St. Augustine one of our favorite places, no doubt about it. Steph and I actually stayed here last year. And we liked it and they were really good to us, so here we are, we're back again. Steph just checked in and the lady was super sweet, like always. It's a, uh, let us park the bike right underneath the entry there with the gable in. So we have a roof over the bike. You come in like I just, you just seen, as easy it is. We're on the third floor. So it was probably the other three floors probably. I think that's all it was. Anyway, we we're the last ones to book, so it's full. So like I was saying, Steph and I, we like this place. Easy walking distance to right down here. And, sorry, to the historical area. Yeah, so there's four floors. We had a good day. We were part of Road Fall here in Mars. Pretty close. Four something. And it's super good weather though. It's like 80 degrees outside. So I'm going to take you guys with us and let's just see what a room looks like. Let's see how that's going to be. Zero one. Zero one. Check out the bathroom, that's what we always do, right? Not bad, not bad at all. Got one king size bed in here. Can we give y'all an idea of what it looks like? Steph's looking for lights. The view before it gets dark, she's doing the clapper thing. Oh uh, man, super pretty outside. So our bike is just right down here. We did a pull, hot tub. Ooh, that one's got balcony. Wow. Of course, we got the cheapest thing they had. But when you're out here traveling, we've stayed in tents and all that. Uh, of course, this run here is early in the year, so we've dealt with some cold, cold temperature and after night and night in tent. Plus, let's just be honest, I'm getting older. This is a Nice. It's been just a great trip. Stuff I have got to really enjoy this trip, take it easy and relax. I feel a lot better this evening. This morning when I woke up, I was like, ah, uh, feeling a little tense. Needed to get out and ride, and it was good that we did. Stuff just went pee. 
Got the pee done. I did. So, we ventured out into St. Augustine. Yeah, we found a really cute little thrift store just right outside the main touristy square right here, just a couple blocks down. Yep, found a pair of pants and some swimming clothes because it's getting hot. Today is warm. Today is Wednesday on our travels. We slept in a little bit. Steph has already got her iced coffee. So uh, now we're just doing a little walk around, fixing to grab something to eat down here. We got off down in here last night and had a really good time. Really, we just walked and bar hopped. this woman she is so 50 and very angry oh <laughs> aquanet well sweetheart you're a pretty girl uh, lassie cup of tea so I can't really judge what I don't like always you know, already there's a lot of history here of course we this whole trip that we've been doing it's been about pirates and ghosts and UFOs and anything that has to do with the history of course so yes. if you look over here to our right you'll see a fort so lit up and it's so pretty tonight it's it's amazing and then I'm gonna pan back around and so this is the gates to come into the oldest city in the states st augustine and what's really cool about this is a story that we read that there was a lot of deaths and just horrible what went on yeah there was like a outbreak of i believe yellow fever and i'm not for sure time frame exactly early 1800s um huge outbreak and so the city 
gave up this plot of land basically for all the ones that had passed away from the yellow fever. I'm not for sure exactly. Yeah, because they really want to be taken care of. Yeah. So yeah, established in 18, 1821 here, this cemetery right next to the city gates. So it was actually built for people who were not Catholic to be buried here. And there's another cemetery here in St. Augustine for the ones that were Catholic. So to be buried in this, does it matter what? This is for the non-Catholics. Okay. So non-Catholic means anything other than Catholic. I guess so. It was open to serve. It was open to serve as the final resting place for those in the city who were not Catholic. Wow. But this is the very place. And this is the stuff that Steph and I are just absolutely eat up when we're out here on the road of course when we're out here traveling we do research about the places that we're going and we found out all this history and of course with history comes the whole haunted the whole pirate the whole outlaw the whole spirit of what america really is is the ability to travel around state to state from coast to coast and find these cool treasures that are out here for you and I right now to go explore. Then you'll come up with your own ideas and of course get to experience these places. And let me tell you something, St. Augustine, we've been walking around tonight as we have in the past and every once in a while you do get these overwhelming feeling of historical spiritual in the moment did i just hear that did i just see that so you, you know all these things are going through your head right and that is the whole travel bug and for us there's nothing like travel on that motorcycle all over this country and loving it absolutely am overwhelmed with everything that we get to do and the experience that we experience on the back of that motorcycle 436 of the city's deceased this was the first public cemetery and the only one that offered burials for anglo saxons anglo american citizens anglo american Gates, like oh, the keys to city no. gates. It was just a drunk dude walking by. We're so all this okay. is believed to be the most haunted cemetery. And there's a story there's a story that there was a young girl about the age of fourteen that had died. Not for sure how she died, but she was dumped at the city gates. And no one never came and claimed her no one never stood up and said i know who this is or this is my daughter nothing like that so they decided to bury her here in the cemetery and so it is said that she you know still has or people Presence. still have sightings of her here in the cemetery so and at the gates she was laid here for the city to find her and then laid to rest over here but still people say they still see her freaking bikers <laughs> yeah so a lot of people have said that they have <laughs> felt things experienced things have even seen things that they've seen a girl waving at people going by here at the gates they've said that they've seen her in the trees over the cemetery what I want to add to this is our bit of knowledge about this cemetery. A year ago, Steph and I was here. Of course, we're out enjoying the nightlife. I may or may not have snuck a couple beers in my back pocket when we left a bar down here. And as we walked by, the gates were open, totally open. And we're used to where we're from, if it says public cemetery, you can go in yes. and visit it. So we, we were ignorant. Anything else, the gates were open. 
it's as you can see it's very well lit it doesn't say no trespassing it does not say private property gates were open so we went in and there is a bench over here so i went over and sat on a bench enjoying my beverage steph was recording to see if she's seen any orbs and all of a sudden i seen this bright light come over me and i was like oh what the hell of course i'm thinking orbs ghosts spirits nope it was a security guard getting onto our ass because he could arrest us because this is private property so if you come <laughs> to saint augustine and you come to the most haunted cemetery supposedly in the u.s don't go in it because you could be arrested and breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. That's our story and we're sticking to it, no doubt. An experience that Steph and I will never forget. And that encases everything that we're doing right now. Get on those two wheels, throttle it up and go somewhere. Go enjoy everything in our backyard. It's amazing. Oh, speaking of that, we just seen this ball earlier. I don't know what it is. It's right over here by the cemetery. I'll walk around and give you a peek. You know, we're just like, what the hell is this? I don't know what it is. It's, it's a big ball. What does it say? Old Spanish Trail Zero Milestone. So, this is the Old Spanish Trail that's starting in St. Augustine, Florida, all the way over to San Diego, California. So, this is the mile marker, zero, and this Old Spanish Trail ends in San Diego, and the ending, of course, is there. So, this is the start of it. Well, maybe we need to make that one of our trips that we do on the bike. And off we go. We're going to go eat our leftovers from the Mexicano place. That was really good. I'm going to munch it now. Yes. So we're on A1A Beachfront Avenue. Love that song. Uh, and we passed this iron boot pub. So we whipped around and thought we'd come back and get a, a beverage along uh, for the road. I do believe so. Let mama get off the bike. Got a rick rack on, we just kind of showing it off. Very easy to put on. You see those two clips right there? Lock them in there. On this side here, you'll have these C clamps unclamp, sets down there, and then you tighten up the C clamps. <clears throat> and boom, just like that, you're strapless. You're running a road quick and easy. Gotta give you an idea what things will cost. 
a little bit here at this diner. This is Starlight Diner. It's right down here on Atlantic Avenue. Right on. Glad you remember. It's a pretty cool little joint. Easy to get in, easy to get out. It looks like uh, the old cafes that were built out of a airstream on the outside. I'll give you a little shot when we walk out. But what I do have to say, they've got a range of food and home cooking like I like. like I got chopped steak. Uh, they had country fried steak, hamburgers, big breakfast menu. There was a ton to pick from on that. So to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like, this dude right here is enjoying the weather. Looking good, looking good, you see? And we're right across the street from, what the hell is that big ass Wyndham or something? Massive, massive hotel. Super, super uh, ugly in my opinion. But you may like it. Ocean Walk. Resort window. Raise your hand if you're ready to eat. Friday kicking off Daytona Bike Week. We are here at Bruce Ross Myers Destination Daytona, their complex here. The vendors have got them all lined up over here as well as over here. Steph and I are walking around. I hope that wind isn't bothering you guys. But I was just gonna give you a little peek see. Man, this place is a fortress. It has absolutely everything you want here at Bruce Ross Myers Destination Daytona. Bikes, boots, beer, and food. And if you were able to, you could sleep here, book a room. I mean, you can just do it all. Guys, I got to tell you something. I've been looking at these online. I know everybody's gonna be like, what the hell are you doing? But listen, I'm just digging the BMWs. And this is the R1200. Now, I think there's an R something something 1200, but check this out. I mean, I, I know you guys know, you've seen them, right? Come on. That's the cool thing, you know, there's all kind of bikes here. It's not just Harley. Look at this Honda, 500. Let me come on. What else we got? Golly, look how loud those dancing arms are. Ooh. Definitely cool and over here underneath the pavilion. They're getting a wall of death dude set up. I'm not exactly who's here I'm gonna go there and check that out I'm telling you guys you got to make it over here if you're down here for Daytona bike week You'll enjoy it and right down the road There's a whole lot more to do as well. And we're just talking about miles Within each other great riding the weather is absolutely perfect today yesterday it hit record highs. it was like high 80s and 90s they hit like i said they hit some record highs today it's cooled off they had a cool front move in but it's like 70 degrees breezy but we're loving Thank <laughs> you. 
What's up, guys? We're here with Bruce Ross Miles, Destination Day Daytona for the 79th Annual Bike Week. Hanging out at the Custom Dynamic Tent, and we got a little bit to talk about. Yes, we do. So we are set up down here at Bruce Rossmeyer Harley Davidson, I love it. hanging out, showing the latest and greatest in LED technology for your bike. So if you need anything, turn signals, tail lights, headlights, all that kind of stuff, whatever we can to make it safer for you, we got you. Yeah. So you guys know that on our bike, that 2019 Rogue Light Special, it's rigged out with custom dynamics, and there's a reason for that because they are the best out there, best customer service hands down and warranty lifetime warranty how can you beat it we go to all these little rallies big rallies and we see these guys all of the time busting their ass installing like today you can come down and get all this stuff free installation free. they're set up in two locations yes, sir. so they're set up right in front of jp cycles and then over here right in front of the service department of bruce ross Myers. and you guys have been installing a lot of all, you got all your product line yep. here. Yep, absolutely. So we have all of our most popular product line here. And like you said, we're going to be doing free installation on all of that stuff for you. So you buy the product, we'll put it on for you. We're going to be set up just like you said here at Bruce Rossmeyer Harley Davidson. And also down at JMP Cycles right in front of the entrance out there. Yep, absolutely. Super excited to be running all their products this year on our bike. And you can go check out our other videos on the website. Not on the website. On the YouTube channel. And you can see our installs and what we think about our lights. We'll have some more coming out as well. This is one thing I've been thinking about on the old road block, is this fatty front tire. I've had a lot of people say they like it, they don't like it. I'm wondering what it'll be like to ride with it. I dig the looks of it, Steph does it as well. I don't know, what's your opinion? You like that? I think I do. I really do, I think it's really cool. And of course, right across from Custom Dynamics is the drag setup. And over here at Drags, we've got the legendary Legend suspension, which has made our trip so much better coming down. I know Steph, we enjoy the ride. I enjoy the ride. We changed that damn machine so much. Once again, I never had them. Now I had them. I know what it's all about. Made a big, big difference on the old road glide. Looking forward to doing the fronts as well. So, whoever spilled coffee all over my bike earlier, I hope you get a little touch of diarrhea today. Check that out. Look at that, that damn mess. What the hell did they do? How did they? It's almost like they swung it all. It's okay though, because we saw them here with Shane at Rick Rack. And he's giving me some cleaner. Look at that damn mess, man. <laughs> you got a little coffee there. What, it's some coffee? Wars? Uh, no, man. Drink? No. I know. No drinking around, right? <laughs> no, we came out. What we got? This is Bunch Light. It's on our website. Okay. We saw it at the rallies. This stuff it works on the windshields, the paint, the flat paint. It doesn't matter anything. Any. So that's one thing we talk about all the time is this yeah. paint right here. So this right here will be all right with this. Yep. Because some of that stuff you put on will turn it glossy. And we yeah, don't want that with a denim. That bug slide works well. All right, man. Like, you heard him. You can go to the website and check it out. Yeah. This I'm going to use this to see how it does. Yeah. RickRack.com. RickRack. Get it. Oh, yeah. I'm riding a damn way. Yeah. You do shit. It's sticky as hell. Oh, boy. It's taking it right off. Damn, got it all over. Yeah, it's 
just taking it off. Really good. So I don't. I didn't even read the directions. I'm sure it says how to do it. I just sprayed it on there. Of course, you see me just kind of going over everything. I'm going back over it. Man, and that damn coffee shit is sticky as hell. Man, it's just all over. Very good. Buddy Shane here at Rick Rack, and we're talking about a cool product that he just got out. It's the Sure Click. So, what these are, they replace the stock bolts for your saddlebags. So, right here is your stock ones, which what we're having trouble is when we pull stuff out, we're hanging and getting everything caught right in here. So, we're going to try these out, which we actually had a set of these on our old bike. These are a little bit different because they click. Uh, like it says right there, short click. First time I've got these out, so you be a little patient with them. Gonna be a little slow. Box these. Got the clips. Oh yeah, there they go. Yeah, here we come out of the package. Isn't that neat look? They do a good job. One thing I like about all their products, it ain't aluminum. It's not plastic. I'm supposing it's probably stainless steel. It's heavy. There we go. All right, let's see about that click. Let's see if we can hear that click. Oh yeah. You get them on there tight. Now, this is a great comparison between the two. You can see right here from the stock again how they're sticking out. And then here with the Rick Rack, that smooth button they are. And they really click well, guys. I'm impressed with that. I just put on one side, and I'm impressed with them. Not only you guys always make a good product, they're heavy, they're, I believe, are they stainless steel? Yeah, 100% stainless steel, yes. That's what I figured. You can tell by the feel and look of them. What's really cool about these, we plant these on our other bike, but these are the new and improved ones. So when you go to screw them in, you don't have to do anything. Just pull out the stock bolts on your saddlebag, screw these right in, and then they just go click, click, click. Super badass. They work well. What are the price on these, Shane? They are $54.95. They're 100% stainless, and uh, they're flush mounted. That doesn't make me want it. We want some of the quality, good product stainless steel and the flush monitor are not big bulky in your bag. Yeah, because Steph and I have been struggling with that a little bit. So I'll show you guys, these are the stock ones that come in there, as you can see, they work well, no doubt, but they do stick out from your bag. So what Shane's came up with here is, of course, these are the flush, like he was just saying, flush mount so you don't have anything catching on when you're bringing it in or out of your bag. Super flush mount, I'll show you guys installing them too and uh, I uh, wish you could feel these they feel so good all your they, product are though yeah, no I, we take pride in everything we build from our bags to our you know saddlebag bolts our gun holsters there's a lot of things that you know we we rode before we did this just like you guys you know every time we did something it's like god I wish I had this or you know something better or you know our quick attach bag system you know no straps no bungee cord just just a lot of things that you know we found we needed when we ride yeah, and that's the thing, riding and experiencing something and being able to modify that as you go, because we all come up with those things, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you've got holsters as well. Yeah, we I've got, seen that there. Yeah, the saddlebag gun holsters, they're actually they're handmade by the Amish for us. Yeah. And um, you can actually, what's cool is they go, they work well with our saddlebag bolts, but what's nice is you can also unclip it out of the saddlebag without taking the bolts out. It unclips and it goes on your waistband too. And they're, they're on our website at rickrack.com. Well, we have been talking about that. As all you guys know, we talked about carrying it. And what do you carry? Where do you carry it? This is a hell of an option. Yep. It's quick and easy. Lick it. Tastes like a postal stamp. We're not going to do it.
my god, you're so much better now, Sal. Listen, faster, stronger. That was like 10 more horsepower. Yeah, it's like, now, yeah. now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now you can grow a beard. <laughs> 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 So Chuck and Brandon ride the Bell Brawl. Now that I'm back up and riding this year, we'll talk to them, see if they want a one-legged guy out there doing well, some wheelies. Yeah, we were there last year. We were hanging out, and that was a hell of a good show. It was a good time. A lot of people. I mean, everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah everybody knows anybody. And stuff in the Harley World is definitely there. Are you going to be at Arizona Bike Week? So that is the one we're working a contract now. Okay. stuff. talking to a few people. So we're, it's the beginning of the year. People still haven't booked a finalized date. Okay. So still working on a lot of that. Yeah, man. I, so we're going to hang out here today because we got we got our numbers last night. Trading digits. I got me a digit last night, and uh, he was like, "Come on out here. It'll be around two o'clock." So we got here at two. You showed up late. Late. It was about four. And I was about yeah. three. He had a long night. He says, "I don't know." Strippers. They, they get me every time. <laughs> well, five strippers at five o'clock. Gives <laughs> you five reasons to be late. Yeah, yeah. Actually, ten. Yeah. So, <laughs> so depends on how long I want to go, though. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he gets everybody to feel sorry because he's got one leg. I mean, come on. Use the ammunition. Oh, look at my long beard. I only have one leg. He uses everything he's got. But y'all are doing some cool shit out here. We've got some footage we're going to show everybody as well. We'll give you the links, everything that he just dropped to us. We're going to drop it down below. You guys can find it. Go Guys, 
Uh, I just want to give a shout out. I did 10 years in the Army myself, an infantry guy and everything. Purple Heart, wounded overseas, all that fun stuff. But I want to give a big shout out to all of our military guys out there. Everybody keeps riding and stuff. Didn't lose the military. Didn't lose the military. But now that I've lost it, I get to learn a little bit what my guys go through. And I've got something coming out. I'm not really going to announce it, but I'm just going to let everybody know. Watch what I got coming out in the amputee world. I'm going to make a big splash and help out a lot of people and stuff. And, uh, I get to contribute in a different way now. Well, man, you know, that means a lot to us, Steph and I. We do painful words. We do what we've been through as well. And it means a lot to me to be hanging out with people that lie for a purpose and with a purpose. We're not just out here just burning cars off and running up down the road for nothing. We're going to do something with what we're doing. My biggest thing is, and you guys will see it used a lot on Instagram, is I like the hashtag Adapt and Overcome. On my Harley, I've actually got get some footage of the, uh, got a handicap sticker that says Adapt and Overcome. Everybody always asks me, like, why are you why are you still riding after losing the leg and everything and all the other injuries and everything else? And I said, I'm not going to teach my two-year-old daughter just because something gets hard, you got to quit. Uh, so it's uh, everybody goes, what are you going to do if you lose the other leg? I said, I'll wake up in the morning and decide how tall I want to be that day. Well, you can be any size you want. Exactly. Uh, hey, speaking of that, do you have adjustment to level you out? So I, I, they fit this? It's like, yeah, it's all airbagged out. Right? Oh, no shit. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of fun stuff. Like, we'll, make it, we'll give everybody a little rundown. Wow, that was really sucked on there, man. That's wow. it. Got, it, got some of the sponsors on there, Clockworks, Legends. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you guys are following it. Check out our sponsors and stuff. Legend Suspension is a big one and stuff. Uh, yes, sir. That's it. That's the riding leg. I've got four legs. you got four legs? Yeah, well, not including the other one, but yeah. Uh, so, yeah. This is your favorite one? Just the, one? It's the riding one. I have a robotic one and everything. So. Do you have a pig one? So, no, but I'm going to build one. I'm going to build a pirate yes. one. Uh, but yeah, no, I just, I mean, my biggest thing is, is being the only guy as of right now doing it with the prosthetic and everything. I'd love to push the people and get some more guys out on Harley stunting with us with prosthetics and take it to another level. You know, that's what it's always been about. I rode BMX, motocross and everything, and now I'm into this. And Dude, I, I absolutely love, you know, you inspire people, get people thinking. Yep. If you can do it, I can do it. Well, I'll tell you the truth. We didn't even think that it was going to turn into something like this. It was... I was just doing, I was back riding on the bike and, and with the leg and I have a lot of followers as it is and all of a sudden everybody was like, this is absolutely amazing. Well, I never put two and two together. I just knew I was adapting and overcoming something that I had in my life. And then I realized how much I'm affecting people. I have got a lot of stories of young kids that, you know, leukemia, I'm getting people for amputees, new fresh amputees. I get people calling me, hey, my dad is like on the verge of just, he's in one of, he wants to end it all. And I mean, I talk to people like this all the time and it's just, if I can help, why not? And if we can, and if we can make it fun, why not? So it, it doesn't have to be a help session. Doesn't need to be the hey, buddy, sit down, let's talk. Help session needs to be, you know, you fucking bike, uh, and let's go over here and jump out and let's go ride. Uh, I agree. And that is that. Is, I totally agree, man. So. I really do. Man, inspiration. That's what it's all about, and it feels good. And I, I always say this: helping somebody else is the most selfish thing you can ever do. Because yeah. at the end of the day, it makes you feel so good. Yeah, it's yeah. contagious. I, I love it. We have so much fun. I'm by far not one of the best stunt riders out there. So I can do wheelies and do all the burnouts, do all the fun stuff. Well, it's something else I want to add to. You. You're definitely not one of the better looking ones. So, well, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I don't I mean, know. Uh, I got I, you beat though. Well, barely. But listen, <laughs> I'm older than you. Don't listen to this shit. Well, uh, you, you got your ARP card filled out and everything. Right? It's coming. Alright, good. <laughs> hey guys, one more time. Big shout out to these guys and stuff. Uh, the Henri One man. This seriously great meeting you and everything. A lot of good fun and stuff. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a long time. Oh, yeah, we are going out. And uh, follow us, Daytona HD Wheelies on Instagram, Legacy Stunt Team, Chuck Malot, Brandon Malot. Check out all of our sponsors. We've got Legend Suspension, Recluse Clutches. I mean, I can go down the list, they're everywhere and stuff. But check it out, guys. Don't miss what these guys are doing and come see our stunt shows. But Steph and I are here. It's probably getting close to 5.30. 5.21. here at the Broken Spoke. It's a cool day. It's probably about 55 degrees. Wind's been blowing a little bit. We've been hanging out down at our destination, Daytona. Yeah. So we were cruising back by, heading down to the Strip. Thought we'd stop by the Broken Spoke because we've never been here. We've been by it a hundred times, though, but never stopped. 
we like it. It's a pretty cool place. You get a chance to do stop by. But like we were talking earlier though, the price of food, like everything around here is a little high. If you guys have eaten, they call this the dinner hour. You didn't know that. Okay, you two cheeseburgers and fries, twenty-six dollars. So I'm thinking about two fucking hot. What I'm thinking about. Is it worth thirteen dollars each? Fuck no. Eat before you get here. But they kind of give you an idea. Cheeseburger and fries is about thirteen. Yes, $13 each. We both got a cheeseburger and it comes with fries. So, cheeseburger with the fries together, both of us, is 26, 26 bucks. bucks. So, that'll give you a pretty good idea of what the food costs here. Cool. But we did get a beer and a soda, and it was seven bucks. Yeah, beer and soda was seven bucks. We got fire pits going. Cool swings over there, everybody's enjoying. Badass, big ass. I don't even know what these trees are, but they're not oak. I don't believe. No, they're not oak trees. They're fucking huge, though. Easy in, easy out, guys. You just roll it here on the pavement, park your bike, as you can see over here. Road glide set pretty and easy. And I'm telling you guys, it's chilly out. And this is like the second day here at Daytona, and things are kicked off pretty good. It's happening. I like this, though. It's open. It's got a big open stage to it, and the bar's at the end. Not bad, I got some uh, clothing, some apparel you can check out as well. I think there's one, two, three, four, probably five bars sitting out in the back, plenty of bathrooms. Like I said, if you want to eat, they do have food, we're over here to the right. Right back between those big ass trees, some food. Yeah, so anyway, Thursday night we were in bed at 8 o'clock. Last night, which was Friday, we were in bed by 10 o'clock. Today we went down and hung out and had a great time at Destination Daytona. It's about 7.30, 8 o'clock now, and we're getting around. We're going to go down on the strip to check out all the mayhem and crazy nonsense that's going on down there. Yes, and tomorrow they have like um, Buckcherry players. Yeah, that's On Main Street. It's free. And we, we leave out Monday, but we do have a lot of people that's been asking us, will you come down and see us and all that. So, honestly, probably tomorrow evening we'll go down there and see Buck Cherry. We've seen Buck Cherry quite a few times. They're at home in the Ozarks. So they came up there quite a bit, honestly. They, they get around a lot. That's what she said. That's what she said. But, yeah, so we're just getting around. We're going to head out. So, let my buddy at Denny's Holly Davidson, Brian, so... With that, we're going to cool out. With that, later. just hang on. We're going to go down and show all you guys what's going on at Main Street. That's the event. What we're up to on this Saturday night. Steph is working on another video. Right now, she's working on that takes us. Mm -hmm. uh, she's doing a hair video right now. If you'll see what she's doing, she's taking it, she's teasing it a little bit. She's really trying to get that 80s look to it. Then she's taking some black stuff and creaming it on top of her eyeball there and blinking it once or twice. She's good to go. Me, I just splash some water up in this beer. I hope that's water. It just wants spaghetti. And then uh, I'm ready to go. Absolutely. Oh, that's good. They're not going to answer me. They're not going to see this for another four or five days. You're here, okay? I say it looks great. It's everything that is great. It's your support. Oh, this light's horrible. Look at all the gray I have. That would just turn into one big snowball. Look at this. Oh, I got long in my beard. Check it out. 
Right. Went across the street to our liquor store, got us a six pack of Dos Eggies, and got us a lime, we got that all cut up. Look at that ready beard. Look at the beard. Oh, oh, oh. We're hanging out on the strip, 79th annual Daytona Bike Week. We ran into this gent right here. The Joe from London, England. London, England. All the way, man. And because of this man, I'm buying Revo, le legend Revo 8 shocks for my 2019 Street Bike Special. Ah, oh, because of this man. Thank you, brother. Thank you. That means so much. Link. God, man, that blows away. And he's not bought me a beer for saying this either. That's a straight up truth. <laughs> So, all the way from England, he's buying the Revo 8 Legend Shocks. Big shout out to Legend. This dude right here is riding with y'all, riding easy because it's the legend thing to do. There yeah. is so much. Thank you for watching my You're videos. welcome, brother. And I must stress, both of us are not drunk. Oh. <laughs> Yes! And guys from London are pretty good at drinking beer, man. Oh, you are, brother. Uh, pleasure. Thank you so you much for watching man. us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, I love you too, brother. Yeah. Super cool. And this is what it's all about. And one last thing. Yeah. The two greatest nations on this planet, the United States and the United Kingdom. Ah, uh, I love it. Good night, brother. Good to meet you, brother. Thank you, too, thank you so much. Right on guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is us at the 79th annual Daytona Bike Week down here on the Strip. We're at the Boot Hill. Better to be here than across the street. That's right, and if you like this content, or if you know anyone that likes this content, make sure that you give it a thumbs up or share it. And also subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell for notifications. And like always, y'all stay on there. What's up, guys? Ah, we are kind of getting settled in. We have been down at Destination Daytona all day. Uh, it was definitely a good day. Yesterday down here, of course, we're in Daytona. They had record-breaking temperatures yesterday. So it, it got pretty hot. Sweden. Sweden. Get to see you, Harley Storm Rider from Sweden. Wow. Jamin said lucky. Someone asked what house bike week. Hey, oh. you two checking in from Long Island, New York. Junior John, good to see you. What's up? What's up? Riding Hope said, I'm making you that knife. Oh, are you really? That's awesome. Oh, man. Hello from the Gump. Hey, y'all. Hey, Blue Bike and Dole. What's up, brother? Crazy Daddy. What's, What's happening with you? Oh, Street Glide in, in Nebraska at the moment. 
Nebraska. Sweet. Very cool. Good to see you, Iraq Bet and Phil. Hey. What's up, y'all? Someone's pushing stuff up underneath our hotel door. Yeah, we're at this little it's kind place. Of shady. Yeah. And every evening they come and shove a bunch of flowers up in your door. Like it's pizza again. Pizza. Pizza and last night it was pizza and, and last night there was a pizza flyer stuck up underneath the door. Pizza oh and, and stripper flower too. So get a stripper and a pizza. I'm joking. Um hey from Custom Dynamics. <laughs> hey guys. Hey, what's up? 